See what's going on there? Oh, why is he giving them flowers? He likes, he does that. They offer them poppies. He's a gentle giant. Yes. He's very cute. He's offering it to me. Yes. Downloading terrain. Ooh, it is blue. Lots of blue. Step out. And now there's a village. Hey. Oh, shit. Do, 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 do. Tried to suck me back in again. Yeah. So. Okay, who wants to kill me here and who does not? Um, everything's cool here. Don't hit one of the villagers. These look like the science guys that throw things at you. Science guys? <laughs> Whatever. Witches? <laughs> yeah, they're not witches. Although... If we had a lightning storm here and a lightning hit one of these guys, it would actually turn into a witch. That would be kind of cool looking. Yeah, I've never seen it happen, but it apparently does. Okay, so, so this is the village. This is this is my artificial village. Okay. So notice how there's two rows of, of gate and fence here. Uh-huh. It's like an airlock. Is this our viewing area outside the petting zoo? Only... Only one can... Basically, only one of those gates can be open at a time. By which I mean, you have to make sure you only have one open at a time. Ah, it's not set up that way. It's not set up that way. I'll stay out here. In the no, no, seat. come on in. Okay. Cool. So, uh, in the center here. These guys make funny noises. Yeah. So, in the center here, I have a little. Ah, hi it, guys. It's okay. They're cool. These guys are, these are guys are, are our friends. So in the center here, I have a potato farm. So you were asking about your wheat, if you could make the wheat farms bigger. Yeah. One block of water, like- and Why do I want my wheat farms bigger? Um, I, I'm, I'm, because you're making hay bales. I'm collecting hay so I can fall off my sculpture that I'm making and not die. Yeah, and, and the only reason that you have to resort to hay bales is because we don't have a slime farm yet. Oh, um, of course. Because slime works even better than hay bales. So, one block of water like this will support up to four blocks in every direction of farmland. Meaning you could have a nine by nine area well, that's what I need to with do. one block. So, I have the... I don't know if you're watching these guys in the brown coats They're here. They're opening and closing doors. Yeah, they like doing that. So, <laughs> so the guys in the brown... They're like three-year-olds. The guys in the brown coats here, uh -huh. um, they will go and when... If there's a... If there's a ripe potato, they will go pick it and then replant it with, with a new potato. So they'll actually farm this area automatically. Oh, that's nice. And then when they have enough potatoes in their pockets, they throw it at the other villagers. <laughs> okay. So if you... Dude, can they do that with wheat? Yes. There's a problem with that. But yes, we could make an automated wheat farm with a villager. But the trick would be getting the wheat away from them. The problem with the wheat farms is when when you harvest wheat, you get seeds and wheat. Uh. And they tend to get their inventory filled up with seeds and they, they stop being able to actually do the wheat. Interesting. There are ways around it, but okay. um, uh, anyway, so you have to be a little careful. So see the big the big guy over here, this big lumbering giant dude. Yes, yikes, he's scary looking. He's this is an iron golem. What, does he want to kill us? No, he's our friend. Okay, hi. He will, however, decide he wants to kill you if you attack one of the villagers. Oh, he's got a spooky face. Yeah. So, if you smack one of the villagers, he will walk at you very, very energetically and kick your butt. Okay. So, we don't want that. Um, so, if you right-click on one of the villagers very carefully so as you don't accidentally hit them, uh -huh. it'll open up a little thing. So, like, right-click on one of these guys. I'm scared. It's okay. You can do it. Does purple coat or brown coat matter? Yes. Which coat do I want? Any. Like, open up the purple coat guy. And okay. we and we need... It's starting yeah, to get dark. Are you me? Okay, Cleric. He wants rotten flesh in exchange for emeralds. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I can scroll through. Yeah, so they have, have multiples. Gold. And or rotten flesh. Where's all our rotten flesh then? Uh, I've I've traded it. <laughs> so I some of these guys. Oh my God! You've got signs. I've got signs. <laughs> so this guy here. 
<laughs> oh, this is your jail. This is a librarian. No, no, shop. <laughs> Can they leave on their own will? No. No, no. They have very long work hours. <laughs> so this guy here. Oh my God, you're slaying. <laughs> so this guy here, he has an infinity book for five emeralds, which is a really good deal. I mean, that's like the cheapest. It's that's worth locking him up for. Yes, absolutely. He looks like he's wearing a straitjacket. <laughs> that is restraining. So, and then I, so I noted on the sign, the, the useful trades. So on this guy, he'll take 24 pieces of paper for an emerald. Okay. So I don't know if you can see over off that direction. Should we be scared that it's dark? A little bit, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, um, if you go look off that direction. Yeah. See all the sugar cane? Yeah. I flattened out that island. It was a desert island. <laughs> I flattened it out. I brought a lot of the sand back to the house for you. Um, okay. And I planted sugar cane all over. So you we can, we can collect all all kinds of sugar cane over there super quickly like two and that's useful because of it turns into paper turn it into paper yeah. and trade it with him to get emeralds and then you get infinity books from him that's why you have an infinity bone okay now. so let's see who else we have here your other servants your indentured <laughs> servants so i captured a cleric that has pretty a pretty decent collection of trades if you trade with him you can scroll through all of them but not worth putting on a sign um yeah because Rotten flesh, gold, emeralds for redstone, emeralds for bluestone, emeralds for ender pearl, emeralds for glowstone. He likes emeralds. Bottle yes. of enchanting. Bottles of enchanting are less of a good no, deal. You mispronounced it. It's O. Yeah, I, I know. Um, but it's O apostrophe, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's an abbreviation for of. Uh, so the, the, they're less of a good deal than they used to be, mm -hmm. but that actually is a bunch of, of, uh, experience points in a bottle. Uh -huh. So you, you, you throw it on the ground and then you, you collect the XP. Huh. They're not, it's not a great, it's not a great deal, okay. but next he takes zombie flesh for, for emeralds and he's a way of getting glowstone and ender pearls. Huh. Fortune three. Knockback 2. Yep. Excuse me, Mr. Iron Golem. I'm just going to tiptoe around you. Mending. Oh, this is where you got my mending books. Yeah. Thank you. That's not a great price on the mending, but it's Thank the you, best sir. one I'm I have so that far. I'm trapped you here. <laughs> luck Sea. It's Frostwalker. Luck, luck of the Sea is uh, you put it on a fishing, ro fishing rod uh -huh. and it improves the chances of you getting good stuff. And what's Frostwalker? Frostwalker is kind of cool. If you walk up to a body of water, it freezes and then you can walk on top of it. That's really cool. Yeah, but you have to be a little careful because it will freeze any water, including water that you might not want to freeze. So this guy's a farmer. Emerald for bread. He'll mm -hmm. take, he'll sell you bread, but he'll take pumpkins for emeralds. Pumpkins and potatoes and carrots and pumpkin all the crops. Pie. What do you do with pumpkin pot? You eat it. Okay, does he give you special powers or anything? No. Uh, and then this guy has a uh, silk touch book for 11. Ah. Uh, which is a really... Thank you, sir. I'm sorry he trapped you here, but um, I will enjoy it. And uh, an amending book for 32. Now, he has an aqua affinity book. That's the only reason he's still here. Oh, there it is. Well, see this lever next to them? Don't pull it. Does that kill them? Well, it, no, it releases them from their servitude. It releases them from their servitude. Okay. Into a pool of lava. Oh my god. Now, unless he uh, uses his frost walker. Or his... <laughs> Doesn't work on lava. Uh, okay, uh, this is pretty cool. So I need to build more of these uh, stalls. And uh, in the process of, of corralling these guys is a little bit tedious. But basically, right now I have one set of these doors activated as a village uh -huh. and I can activate others to get more villagers because they'll breed up right now the population is kind of at steady state and you can't kill them because uh, the iron golem will come out well I can't hit them with my sword but I can put them into a corral and dump them into a pool of lava and everything <laughs> will be fine and the iron golem doesn't get mad at that no the iron golem he, doesn't seem to notice he just thinks silly villager silly servants yeah nice so Let's, uh, since it's still dark, it's... Well, yeah. I have my bed. 
Uh, Why do I have rotten flesh in my pocket? I, I don't know. I killed that one. How much do you have? I have one. Oh, okay. Not enough to trade. What's going on over here? Hello. Oh, okay. Okay, it gets a... I have, don't have this lit up as well as I'd like, so it gets a little dangerous around here at night. So why don't you come over here, and I have a bed already. I have one in my pocket. So why don't you put it down next to here, next okay. to this one, and uh, and let's uh, go ahead and get rid of the night. You have to place it rather than just throw it on the ground. Ay, ay, ay. So complicated. And remember, you want to place it at the foot of where you want it, so... You might want to come up and stand over here and place it at that block. Ah, oh, close enough. Okay. <laughs> Bedtime. We can always move it. Woo! Good morning. Okay, so other features of the village. We have a bunch of empty houses. Which we might decide, you might want to look at them, and we might decide to make one of these like our vacation home. Okay, I like that. And uh, and then notice that they had a bunch of a I bunch of here. farms. Nice. Um, I I replaced. There's no wheat in any of these farms. I had to work really hard to prevent any wheat from getting inside the <laughs> artificial village. Um, we are allergic to it, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, I occasionally I, I let this stuff grow up and then I go and uh, take it all out. It's all carrots and potatoes. Cool. Because that's good trades. Very uh, cool. And then, uh, and notice. This is what I need to do for my wheat farm, huh? Well. Except it should be four wide on each side. Yeah, so the water will go out to four. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And you can make it as long as the row you want. Um, the crops. Actually, a few more days I should be good on wheat. Oh, okay, good. And as I said, I told you earlier, crops grow faster when they're in rows than when they're not. Yeah, okay. So that's why I have these set up the way they are. Notice none of these houses have doors. Because you took them all over to the other area. N no, I broke all the doors because um, doors, the way the game figures out what counts as a, as a house for a village uh -huh. is based on doors. So we can't have any doors nearby the village here. Why don't you want them? Why? Um, because it'll it'll make... Right now, the village is contained into the area inside the fence. Inside mm -hmm. the walls. And this is just the ghost town outside? Yes. So if we put a door on one of these, then the it'll extend the actual area that the game considers to be a village oh, to include that. Spawning here and having free lives rather than near indentured servitude? No, the... They won't spawn, but iron golems could, and that could be a little bit of a problem. Oh, okay. Uh, over How here, do dogs and iron golems get along. They should be fine unless you attack the iron golem. Well, will the dog? The dog will then, and then the iron golem will kill the dog. The iron golems, we didn't get a chance to see any in action, but they're pretty nasty. So notice I've got some chests here. Oh, nice. With some stuff. Oh my god! Oh no, it's not that much. There's not that much. Yeah. Um. Right. But when we get, you know, a good setup, we can start using that and trade to the farmer villager for the cool. weed. So I've got potatoes and carrots and paper and all that good stuff. Nice. If you come over here. Now, is there any way for us to get home without going through the nether? You could walk home. It's not that far. The nether portal is just convenient. Okay. So if you come over here. In fact, we walked, I mean, we walked past this place one of the first times we were out exploring. The doors are cracking me up. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty funny. <laughs> jack o' lanterns. No, nah, these these are just pumpkins. I know, but they have faces like jack o' lanterns. They have faces. So I set up a little farm here to get melons and pumpkins. Uh huh. Um, the melons, it's a good idea to use a silk touch tool on, because that way you get whole melons, which is what the farmer wants. Oh, rather than the cut up ones. Rather than the slices, which you can reassemble into a whole melon, but the problem is. Um, you never get enough slices to make a whole melon. Okay. Oh, here's some rotten flesh. Oh. Now I have two. Now you have two. Unfortunately, not enough for the uh, the uh, the cleric. So there are several different types of villagers. They have different professions, 
and um, one of the reasons I didn't want to throw away any of the string that we're getting from the spider farm is because there are Fletchers who will trade for string. These guys, how long are you in for? I don't know. <laughs> I've been here for two weeks. So I was going to have you help me move the villagers into the village. Uh huh. But I just got, I was playing around. Moving villagers has become a little bit of a pain in the new version of the game. Um, so Probably I got. Probably intentionally. Um, I no. I can't imagine that they would uh, adjust the game to make slavery easier. <laughs> It, it's a side effect of the fact that you you probably noticed like if one of the villagers walked up to you they pushed you they're trying to start a fight so the iron golem could kick my butt um <laughs> uh, no not really but now mobs can push you around so like you, you probably notice that with the cows or the sheep or whatever when you're getting your wall huh. well cool so did you just hear the bat squeak no. So there's a cave beneath this the village here. Ah. The cave actually has another spider spawner. So we can kill spiders here too. Yeah, although I'm probably going to turn it into an automated string farm. Just because we have villagers that will trade for string. Ah. And that's more important than, than XP at this point, I think. Because we don't have enough string on the other side. Trust me, that string will go away very quickly. when I, I've already brought some of it over here. We used to have more. Okay. Um, it'll go, you go through it pretty quickly in trading for emeralds. And I have uh, 94 emeralds in my pocket. Mm -hmm. But nine, that sounds like a lot. But when the mending book costs 24, that's like four mending books and then you're done. When you first said that, it sounded like you had 94 Cajun chefs in your pocket. Oh. Emeralds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. So any, so anyway, this is the village. Very cool. Yeah. So what we can do is if you if you want to pick out one of the houses, we can sort of rehabilitate it and put like a a trap door on it for the door so that the beasties can't get in, but we don't put up a door to screw up the village okay. area. Um, and then we can we can put some stuff there. We can uh, you know we can have a chest or whatever. Um, I have an ender chest It'll here. Be our our plantation house. Yeah. So I With oh our slaves look, outside. Look, look at this. Come here. Look at this. See what's going on there. Oh, why is he giving them flowers? He likes. He does that. They offer them poppies. He's a gentle giant. Yes. He's very cute. He's offering it to me. Yes. Do I take it? No. There's no way to take Aww. it. So apparently Bye. that's a reference to a Japanese animation. Uh, animated film or TV show. I can't remember uh. which. So I've got an ender chest and I'm going to go put it over here by the portal. Okay. And uh, that way we can sort of sh make it easier to shuttle stuff between here and home. These guys are looking at me in judgment because I'm affiliated with the enslaved. <laughs> the enslaver. Yeah, that's it not. It wasn't me, guys. Sorry. Yeah, that's that's not what's going on. But okay. Cool. So anyway. Yeah, it is what's going on. But that's fine. To each his own. There you go. And I have a few chests over here of building supplies. I need slime balls and pistons to make the um, to make the little corrals, the little um, stalls for them. Ah. And uh, is this bed being out of alignment going to drive your OCD crazy? Well, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> my bed yeah you're in trouble if you die now you're you're totally screwed okay but eventually we'll relocate it into the one of the houses into whatever house we decide to take over yeah um the one slave <laughs> one uh one note about the sugarcane farm yeah you don't want to hit the sugarcane at the ground level because then you'd have to replant so if you just walk around and keep your crosshair is sort of at mid height uh -huh. it'll knock out the top two levels of the sugar cane uh -huh. and then you won't have to replant nice. so so anyway that's uh that's what's been going on here at that's the village cool. looks that, like a lot of work it, it, it was a little bit of work but it's fun it's nice when you have slaves 
<laughs> I, don't take that out of context. They're not. It's easier when you have slaves. They're not slaves. They're, they're. They're indentured servants at worst. Mm. Okay. Okay. You're giving them shelter, the ones that are useful. And putting them in a safe place. They won't, uh, the zombies can't get in. And they have iron golems to help protect them in the event that something bad does happen. And give them flowers, so hey. And give them flowers. Um, if you do kill an iron golem, and it takes a little bit of work because they're very strong, they drop iron blo- iron ingots, and they also drop poppies. Which huh. is cute. Um, one last thing to mention. Yes. Being here inside the village after min around midnight uh-huh. can be a little dangerous. Gonna let it all hang out. <laughs> That's right. Um, you can have what's called a zombie siege, in which case zombies spawn inside the village, and then go and attack all the villagers. If we're here at midnight. If yeah, if there's a player actually inside the village around midnight. And right now the village is considered inside the double wall. Yeah, it's sort of the geographical center of the village is the midpoint of all the doors that make it up. So it's actually the midpoint is right over there inside that one pad that I have blocks above. So it's a relatively minor risk right now. And it all happens if you have more than 20 villagers, I think. And I think at this point we only have like 15. So it's not likely to happen right now, but when I set up, when I activate another set of doors, um, it could. And then if you're inside and a zombie siege happens, you have to help save all the villagers. And how do you do that? By killing zombies. Okay, Okay, let's go to bed and call it a day. Bye. Bye. Bye.